Hi, this is JP from Northern Lights of Arkham. Welcome to another Lord of the Rings LCG playthrough video. This time I am playing my uh, deck manipulation elves on True Solo against the Hunt for Gollum scenario or quest from the Shadows of Mirkwood cycle. Uh, I was lucky enough to get the whole um, Shadows of Mirkwood cycle recently from a, a gamer that uh, wanted to sell off parts of his collection so I'm lucky to get those and also I got some uh, parts of the uh, Darrow Elf cycle also so I decided to build this uh, deck for True Solo featuring uh, Glorfindel spirit version then I have Elrond and uh, Rosiel as the heroes uh, firstly, let's check out what's my deck all about before we start. So let's hop over to ringsdb.com and see what the deck is all about. Okay, and we are over on ringsdb.com and this is the deck list. Uh, I managed to narrow this down to 50 cards. I had like 55 cards at some point when I was deck testing this. Uh, so the idea of this deck is of course uh, using Glorfindel with the Light of Valinor, so he doesn't have to exhaust for questing, so we don't add threat when he quests. And um, then of course uh, getting Vilva on Elrond, so we can start playing cards from the top of our deck uh, without cost. So of course we have unexpected courages to get Elrond uh, to get unexhausted when um, we use uh, the Vilva and Elrond to play the card, so we can use Elrond for other stuff. Uh, then I ha have Rosiel here. Uh, this is not a victory display uh, deck per se, but with the help of Elrond, we are able to uh, put crucial cards like uh, Out of the Wild into. The victory display or, or play um, put cards from the encounter deck to the victory display that we need for, uh, for Rosiel to get the boosts. Then uh, we have Leave No Trace, uh, as there are a lot of locations and we are mainly questing, we can put some locations to help uh, Rosiel get the questing benefit with the help of the Leave No Trace. Then uh, we have a bunch of allies, and uh, not going through all of the list, but mainly we have these Im Imaldrees Stargazers, so we can manipulate the top of our deck so that Elrond can uh, get those cards into play that we want, and we don't hit dots while we use Elrond. Uh, then we also have Sigil Miners. This is a late addition, and uh, with this I can uh, discard those cards from the top of my deck that we don't want to see, like extra copies of Vilva or uh, the Light of Valinor, and we can get some resources from that. So these, these are really useful when manipulating the top of the deck. And uh, in addition we have uh, Gildor Ingolfing, which can also manipulate the top of our deck so that is useful and it is a costly and really powerful ally so we really want to play him uh, with Elrond's ability. Uh, then we have a bunch of staple events like a test of wheels here and pair on perilous for those situations we really need to fight so we can boost up Glorfindel and basically one shot enemies and uh, that's basically the deck. I'll put the deck list into the video description for you to see and maybe build it and try it out for yourself. But let's hop back over to the scenario. So our starting threat is 26 and there are Keenan's lances in the deck that help us to lower it if needed. Uh, threat is not a big issue in this scenario but it is useful to be able to not have to engage enemies in the big uh, staging area when you don't want to. But 
that is basically everything, so without further delay, let's get started. Okay, we are ready to start, so let's do the setup first. So, reveal one card per player from the encounter deck and add it to the staging area. Well, I might as well read the um, story text. So, Gandalf has rescued. Uh, re Requested your assistance in the search for the elusive creature known as Gollum. Your search begins in the Anduin Valley between Mirkwood Forest and the Misty Mountains. So we will reveal one card and that goes into the victory display. When revealed, each location in the staging area gets plus one uh, threat until the end of the phase. Each player with the, a threat of 35 or higher chooses and discards one card from their hand. Well, we managed to dodge a bullet there so that didn't affect us at, at all so we'll flip this over so now we have to get a threat here so you make your way along the banks of anduin river and a likely place to for Gollum to find food pause after you the players quest successfully the first player looks at the top three cards of the encounter deck Reveal and add one of those cards to the staging area and discard the other two cards. So we have a really beefy um, encounter deck and we need to find evidences of Gollum so that we can finish the scenario. So we need to start looking for clues and uh, that's basically it. Um, there is a situation if we don't have any Oh, uh, evidences of Gollum and we are at the stage 3 I think it will revert to stage 2 uh, of the quest deck if um, we can't or, or we can't uh, quest successfully but uh, it hasn't happened to me yet so let's look at what cards we get so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 uh, Unexpected Courage Arwen Inas Lances, Dunnar's Runes, Out of the Wild, and Fair and Perilous. Well, I, I think I will Mulligan, because we really want to see Bilva or the Light of Valinor in our starting hand. So, a quick shuffle to the deck. All is not lost if we don't hit those crucial cards, but we really want to, because we want to get this deck online as fast as possible okay that is enough shuffling so we do one two three four five six and uh, uh, galadria sandmaiden miner of iron hills leave no trace arwen Vilva, and galadria sandmaiden so we have a Vilva, so that's really good we are definitely playing that immediately so we start our first round, uh, we start with the resource base, so we add resources, we draw a card. It is another miner of the Iron Hills. Uh, I'll try to keep my hand mostly in, in view somewhere here. I will be playing named allies here and uh, jump blockers and stuff like that here. So this is an extra play area for me. So. Uh, first off, we will, of course, play Vilua. And uh, looking at our other cards we want to play early, uh, I think we want to save for Arwen, so we will use the lower resources to play Vilua. And... Uh, Then I will use Elrond's ability, even though I don't know what the top card is, to look at the top card and play it. So we have uh, Dinar's Room, so we'll play that. We get to draw two cards. We get another Dinar's Room and Kina's Lances. Okay, well, I'll just discard the Kina's Lances. No, uh, I have. To, uh, yeah, I don't want to play it from my hand, so I'll just discard it. Well, um, might as well shuffle my uh, or rotate my deck. So I'll play another Dinar's Runes 
here in the planning phase. So we find the light of Valinor, which is really good. So, and we want to keep this, so... Uh, I think one miner of the Iron Hills is good enough. Uh, it can fight, so... Maybe we don't need the Linnot face, or... Yep. I'll keep the... Uh, leave no trace so that we can get uh, Rosiel online quicker. So I'll discard one miner of the Iron Hills from my hand. Then I'll use one resource to play uh, Light of Valinor onto Glorfindel. That is the planning phase done. We are out of resources. We have to do with these. So we'll go to the questing phase. Uh, we don't have any uh, enemies at the moment. So I will just quest with Glorfindel, and Glorfindel doesn't exhaust, so that is everything. So we are 3 versus 0, and we get one encounter card, and it is a doomed one search. So we go to 27. Uh, when revealed, remove all progress from the uh, river land location. Well, there is no none in play, so we don't mind that, but we get the... Doom increase. Then we find Goblin Time Scavengers. So, when revealed, discard the top card of each player's deck until the end of the phase. Increase Goblin Time Scavengers threat by the total printed cost of all cards discarded this way. So, we are three against one, and we will discard a three, which is bad. So, we actually uh, add one threat here, and that's not good. No way to increase our willpower at this moment, but it is what it is. At least we can just kill this Goblin Scavenger. So, um, we'll go to the encounter phase. There's no travel phase because there's nowhere to travel. So we'll engage this. Rosiel will defend. So, we are defending two against one. And the Shadow Guard. So the shadow card is deal one damage to each hero with the clue card. There are none, so nothing happens. So we don't take any damage. Then Glorfindel will attack for three and kill off this. And that is our uh, combat phase done. Nothing else to do but go to the refresh phase. We ready up. We raise our threat by one. And that is it. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We start the next round with the resource phase, so we add resources. Then we'll draw a card. It is uh, fair and perilous, so that's useful. Uh, then I think we just uh, save up for... Well, um, actually Elrond has now with Vilua uh, spirit resource also, so we can play Imalgris Stargazer, so I'll play that. Then I will um, I will look at the top co five cards of my deck, so one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I think we want the Unexpected Courage here. Nothing else is really that important, so we'll put that on top. We put Kina's lances maybe later. We want to draw the Galadrim Mistral. We'll play Kina's lances maybe next um, phase, and I think that's good. A good order. So we will use Elrond and Vilua to play the top card of our deck, which is the Unexpected Courage, and we'll put it on to Elrond. And El Elrond will just ready. We have one resource on uh, uh, Rosiel for ne next round or future rounds, and that is all planning we will do. We'll go to the questing phase. I will again quest with Glorfindel, and now I will quest with Elrond. Uh, we are 6 versus 0. Encounter card is the West Bank. So 
for out of three, uh, I mean, uh, the quest value here is three. So we need three progress and uh, threat of three. So while the best bank is the active location, attachment events and uh, event and event card cost one additional matching resource to play from hand. Okay, well it doesn't affect our Vilva place at all. So uh, we were six versus three, so we get three progress here. Now we quested successfully, so we look at the top three cards. We put one into the threat area. We don't want this enemy at the moment, so we also don't want the old wife's tail. So we'll pick the river Ningvlor and put it into the threat area. Then we get to travel. So, while uh, River Ninglor is the active location, remove one progress from it. And from the current quest at the end of each round, uh, we'll travel there. Or do we want to travel here? Yeah, let's travel uh, here. So next round we can uh, play Limno Trace to get the Riverland location into the victory display for Rosiel. No enemies, so we just go straight to uh, the refresh phase. Ready up. We add one threat here. We are at 30. And that is it. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add resources. We draw a card. And as we knew, it's the Galadriel Mistral. Then, um, we know what's on top of the deck, so we will just use Elrond and Vilva immediately. So we play the Kienas Lances, so action add Kienas Lances to the victory display, then choose one. Add two resources to a hero's resource pool, draw three cards, or reduce your threat by four. I'll reduce my threat. So we are down to 26. No rush here, we'll just mm, whittle down this deck. Then we're ready, Elrond with the unexpected. Courage. Then we can play stuff. Mm -hmm. I think I will play Galadrim's Handmaiden. So we reduce our oh, uh, we reduce our threat by one. We are down to 25. Then um, I will save the two resources so we can put this into the victory display with the uh, fossil. So um, we won't play anything else this round. And uh, no, well, we'll uh, look at the top five cards. So one, two, three, four, five. Another unexpected courage times two. Actually, we definitely want to play Haldir next round. And uh, let's do it like this. So we'll draw this, play Haldir with the Vilia. And uh, these others are good as they are. No rush to get another Imaldris Stargazer at this moment. So we draw this. We play Haldir, and that's that. Okay, and uh, we are ready to quest, so we are questing against two. Uh, of course, Glorfindel will quest, and I think I will quest with Elrond. And I think that's all we need to do for questing. So we are uh, again six versus two. Uh, no, let's quest with the uh, Galadrian's handmaiden so that we get rid of this more, more surely. So 
Um, we get an encounter card. It is another West Bank, so we are five on the threat, and we are six eight on this. So we just get uh, enough to defeat that. So we'll just take no trace, or my I mean leave no trace, and we have to spend one extra because this is the active location. And we it is still in the active location slot when we play it. So this goes into the victory display and this goes into the victory display. But now Rosiel is uh, can quest for four when we are we have a Riverland location as the active location and these are Riverland. And we quested successfully so we look at the top three cards. And uh, I think we'll discard these two. And we reveal this, so when revealed, deal 1 damage to each character controlled by each player with a threat of 35 or higher. So it, it doesn't do anything. So that's good. And then we can again travel. I think we'll just keep getting these off of the staging area because it has threat of 3. And no enemies will just go immediately to refresh phase, so we ready up everything. Raise our threat by one, and that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add resources. We draw a card, and as we knew, this is the Fair and Perilous, so we have two of those in hand. Are really good if we hit a beefy enemy. Uh, immediately we'll use in the planning phase uh, Vilua and Elrond, and we play Haldir. Then uh, I will ready Elrond, and uh, still have plenty of resources, so I will play Arwen. So Arwen is a really good uh, addition here. So after Arwen on Dumiel Exhaust, choose a character. That character gains Sentinel and gets plus one defense power until the end of the round. And uh, that's really good now with uh, Elrond or Rosiel. So we can have a really beefy defender. Uh, not Nothing else to play. Um, we don't have a one cost more card to play with Rosiel, so we'll just go to the questing phase and we will uh, quest with Arwen, uh, Elrond, no, uh, we'll quest with Rosiel actually, because she's a 4 now, then the Galadriel Sandmaiden and uh, Orpindel, so we have a uh, 4, 6, 9, 11 against 2. Is that too much? We'll pull back a bit. We don't want to rush forward too fast. So, we are 9 against 2. Encounter card for this round is... Uh, when revealed, each player raises their threat by 1 for each character they control. That is not currently committed to the quest, so that hit us in the ass. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so we're up to 30 threat again. But... That's okay. Uh, we still succeed, so we were 9 against 2. So we do 7. So this is defeated and we get 4 here, so... And again, we... Search the top three cards as we quest successfully. Now we find Signs of Gollum, so we'll put that in the victory display and discard these two. And Signs of Gollum has guarded, so we draw one card, and it is the Master at Miss Massing at Night. When revealed, reveal X additional cards from the encounter deck. X is the number of players in the game. Okay, so we reveal one more. But uh, I think that resolved already, so it doesn't attach to this, so we just get this into the staging area. So, uh, now... 
After players quest successfully, the players may claim signs of Gollum. So next round we will just quest successfully. And now we will actually travel here. So here is the post. If Banks of Anduin leaves they return to the top of the encounter deck instead of placing it into the discard. So we'll travel to here. So no enemies. We will read it. And this removes one progress from all Riverland quests and from the uh, main quest, so we are down to six, but we probably will advance next round. And we raise our threat by one, so we are at 31. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add resources. We draw a card, and it is one of the unexpected courages. Now, actually, I have another unexpected courage, I think, on the deck. Well, I'm not sure, so I'll just uh, reorganize these. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we don't want to see Dilia, and we don't need that. Okay, so we want to grab this with the minstrel and that will shuffle these and that's okay so we'll play mm. uh, we'll use Lilua and play this and it attaches to a hero and uh, We'll attach it to Glorfindel, so Glorfindel can fight twice, because uh, he is our main fighter. Okay, and um, then we will use two resources from here to play the Minstrel. And we search, we look at the top, search the top five cards of your deck for an event card and add it to your hand. So, one, two, three. Four, five, five, and uh, we'll grab the test of will, and we shuffle the rest back into our deck. And this is okay because we can always check with the stargazer what is on the top of the deck before we use Vilva. We still have a couple of resources, so I will just keep up my investing or my <laughs> questing power by playing the other Gal Galadriel's handmaiden. So we'll use these two resources to play Galadriel's handmaiden. Or do we want to say? Uh, I think we are okay not saving a resource. So we'll lower our threat by one. Okay, then we ready uh, Elrond. Then we are ready to quest. So we will quest with Glorfindel. And both of these. And I'll give plus defense to Elrond. And I will quest with Rosiel also. So we are four. 6, 9, 11, 13, uh, might as well quest with this, so 14 against 1, so we get encounter card, and it is another Banks of Anduin, so we quest successfully, so I'll actually put this onto Rosiel. And uh, so we were again four, six, nine, eleven, thirteen, fourteen against two, so twelve. So this goes away, and we complete this one. And now we are on the trail, but 
At the western edge of Mercurius Trail to and away, it wandered off southwards and passed out of the wood wells ken and was lost to Gandalf the Fellowship of the Ring. So again we need eight. Oh, uh, we are at the wrong one. Sorry, I had this in the wrong um, order. So a new terror up abroad. So the wood, the wood was full of the rumor of him. Dreadful tales, even among beasts and birds. Woodmen said that there was some new terror abroad. A ghost that drank blood. So we need ten. And then rumors have led you to the eaves of Mirkwood Forest, where the woodmen whisper of a new new terror in the night. So first, at the beginning of the quest phase, the first player who set the top two cards of the encounter deck reveals and uh, reveal and add one of those cards to the staging area and discard the other. So now we don't get to look, uh, hunt for more signs of Gollum here, but it is okay. So yeah, we'll travel to one of these and there are no enemies, so we'll just go to refresh space. We are at 31 again, and that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add resources. We draw a card. Another Galatriel's Handmaiden. Now, before we do anything else, we'll uh, fix the top of the deck. One, two, three, four, five. Mm. There are a lot of good choices here. We could play the secrecy card there out of the wild and search for an enemy or orc and have uh, Rossi LB beef here to fight if we need it. Or we could uh, lower our threat by four. Or draw three cards. I think we are we don't need to draw any cards, we are good at it as it is. We could also get the Ziggle Miner to get the resources, but I think we'll mm, just draw one, so we'll put this on top. This next, the next round, we will Kina's Lances, draw this, and then, okay, that, that's a good order. We'll use Lilga with Elrond, so we play this, so search set up. Five cards of the encounter deck for an, any one non-objective card worth no victory points and add it to your victory display shuffle the encounter deck. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, Goblin Orc sounds good. Yeah, we'll place. Okay, uh, this is more nasty. This hits harder, so we'll put one of these to the victory display. So that's good. Now we have uh, defense of four with Rosiel if needed against orcs. Okay, so we shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Then um, we still have plenty of resources, so I'll, I will save one. Uh, I think I won't play anything, because I want to save one resource for a nasty treachery, so I can test off will it. So we'll just start questing, uh, so I first will ready Elrond. Now, at the beginning of the quest space, we will look at the top two cards here, add one to the victory disc or into the staging area and discard the other. Mm, we could fight. It, so I'll grab the goblin and that discards. Okay, so after this attacks, uh, remove one progress token from the current quest. That's okay. We start questing, so we quest with Glorfindel. I'll give plus defense to Elrond. Uh, actually, I'll. Yeah. We'll quest with Rosiel. And these two, and this one. This can fight and definitely kill whatever. 
I'll actually leave this up because if I need to defend a second enemy, I have another uh, one uh, ready. Well, well, I could. Well, yeah. Let's just defend with that so uh, Glorhindel can attack twice. Okay, so we reveal a card. It is Goblin Scavenger, so it has plus two. That messes up our deck order now, but that's okay. So uh, it is three, five, six versus four, eight, ten, thirteen. So we still succeed in questing. I'm just counting how much. So we're four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen against three, six. So we succeed by seven. So four, uh, three here. And this goes on the top of the deck. So it will be a shadow card. That's good. And uh, four progress on this one. And then we have to fight these. So I'll just engage one of them. And the other one comes into fight also. Then we'll deal shadow cards. I will deal this to this one and this to this one, it doesn't matter. Or let's do it in the other order. Okay, so defending. I will defend uh, with Galadrian's Mistral against this one. So this is a uh, defending player choose and returns one exhausted ally, take control to its owner's hand. If they control no exhausted allies, raise their threat by three. So I will return I'll actually return this one. So the attack goes undefended, so I'll take one damage here. Then this attacks, I'll defend with uh, Elrond. No shadow effect as we knew. No damage comes through. Then we get to fight. So first off, we will fight with both Glorfindel against this one. This is defeated. Then uh, we'll ready Glorfindel and uh, attack with Glorfindel and uh, Haldir against this one, and that is also defeated. And that is everything we do, so we ready up. We repress, add one threat to the dial, and uh, that is our turn. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add resources again. So now we have enough resources to play a bunch of stuff, but first let's uh, let's first look at the top of our deck. One, two, three, four, five. Minas Lances was next, as we remember. So. Are, uh, there are some, uh, yeah, I think this order is good enough, so we will just use Vilga, play the Keenest Lances, and we lo lower our threat by 4 again, there are 28. Then uh, we will play this guy or girl. So we look at the top five cards. So one, three, four, five. Pick one event. And we'll pick the fair and perilous. Shuffle the deck. And. Uh, then I will play Unexpected Courage or 
I don't need another unexpected carrot, so we'll just boost our ability to quest. So we'll play one Galadrium Handmaiden. We are down to 27 threats. And we have three of these in hand. Quite event heavy hand, but it is okay at this moment. So we'll start questing, so we're ready up Elrond. Oh yeah, uh, I think I forgot to travel last round, but no matter, uh, we just want to complete this one as fast as possible. So we will quest with all of these. And uh, Rosiel and Lorpindel, and we'll boost uh, Elrond. Defend Elrond's defense with uh, Arwen. Okay, so we are. Uh, yeah, well, Rosiel is down to two because we don't have an active location. That's okay, so two, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen against one. Oh yeah, and uh, at the start of the questing phase we have to do this. We'll put one sign of the golem on this discard, so that gets hunters from Mordor. Okay, so we need to defeat this enemy, but we can just ignore them. So this gets plus two combat and plus two uh, threat for each clue card. So we have two clue cards in play, so this is uh, six, seven, that's okay. Could actually kill it. That sounds good. Okay, well, we'll tackle that in a moment. So, 6 7 versus 13. So, we progress 6, which is enough to beat this stage. Now we are on the trail, so we need 8 progress, and if we complete this, we win the game. So, any player who doesn't control a hero with at least one crew objective, attached cannot commit characters to this quest. If there are ever no heroes with clue objects attached in play, reset the quest deck to stage 2 V. Well, lucky we have one, and we will do our best not to lose that. So, we will travel here. Or do we? No, we'll just keep it here. Uh, yeah. Then, uh, let's count if we can actually defeat the hunters from Mordor. Uh, it has 6 health and defense of 2. So, yeah, we'll just fight that. We will defend with Elrond. No. We'll just jump up with this guy or girl. It gets a shadow card. It hits for... Uh, attacking enemy gets plus one uh, from... Combat strength and plus two if our threat is 35 or higher, it is not. So it just kills or destroys this ally. That's okay. Now we can hit back, so we need to deal eight damage. So there's three, four, five, six, seven. We are one short, but no matter. We deal. 5 damage. We'll ready Glorfindel, and Glorfindel attacks again. So we deal 3 damage, and that can defend for 2, so it takes 1 and it's, it's defeated. So that's good. Oh yeah, and uh, yeah, we decided not to travel, and we get this sign of Gollum if we quest successfully next round. So that is that round. We add one threat to the dial, we refresh everything. I think we are winning this next round. We only need eight progress here. 
there's only one in the staging area against us. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. Okay, well, we get resources and draw one card. It is out of the wild. We will uh, organize our top deck. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's play another one of these. No, yeah. The others don't matter. So I will just uh, use Lilia to play this. So we look at the top 5 cards, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, get an event into our hand and we grab that one. Shuffle our deck. Ready for the final push. So, uh, we will use these three resources to draw three cards two, three uh, so we play the Lorian's Wealth so we draw uh, Daughter of Nimrodel, Lindrir and another this Stargazer let's see if we have anything to play with the two on Lorfindel we have Unexpected Courage which we won't play, we want to say one resource for um, test of will. So we are good, we just need to quest with everything. So we go to the questing phase now, trigger now for uh, starting the questing phase. So two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen. 16 uh, ready and 19 against 1 and doom search 1 so remove all progress token from a riverlands location there is none so we get one doom here the search comes so we get uh, eastern cross search and the east bank okay it is three four five against mm, enough so we get enough onto this one and that is the game so we managed to defeat this quest quite easily with this deck so that was hunt for golem with my um, top deck elves so this is a pretty fun deck to play in true solo you can really utilize the Vilua with Elrond uh, and uh, the unexpected courage just make it that Elrond is useful in other situations also the light of Valinor makes Gorfinda a really good uh, card for true solo gaming and the rest of the deck supports those too so yeah, that was Hunt for Gollum, and uh, hope you guys liked this playthrough. Thanks for watching, and until next time.